I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on vectors applications to geometry. The question here is, in parallelogram ABCD, E is a point on BC that divides it in the ratio of B is to EC is 2 is to 1. So B E is to E C is 2 is to 1. The diagonal B D intersects A E at K. Calculate the ratio in which K divides A E. Right? That is the question. Now you can always pause the video, answer the question. Here is my thought on this. Let us assume that K divides A E in the ratio of let us say this is uh, p and the other portion will be 1 minus p. We are using one unit. So in the division formula, I mean division of a segment formula, this sum will be 1. So that is the advantage of using p and 1 minus p. So we will kind of avoid fractions. That's the whole idea, right? So what I'm trying to say here is that ak is to ke. is in the ratio of 1 minus p is to p. That is what I'm trying to say. Is that clear to you? Right? Now, if that is the case, in that case, how can I describe bk as? Now, bk will be p times ba, right? So, b to k will be equal to p times b to a plus 1 minus p times b to e. So at this stage I have utilized the formula which we derived on division of line segment, right? This is the formula which we have applied right there. Now this formula actually finds huge application whenever your division of line segment you have to refer to that formula. I'll provide you with a link on the same. Correct? So we get our equation. So we have utilized our formula for division of a line segment. Whenever it is divided into a fixed ratio, that is the formula which we can use. P plus 1 minus P is 1 and therefore the denominator P over 1, 1 is not mentioned here. Right? So that is how we can write BK as. Now here we know that BE is to EC is 2 is to 1. So we can consider this to be 2 over 3, right? So we can write BE as equal to 2 third of BC, right? That is given to you. Now BC is equal to AD. So I could also write this as 2 third of AD. So BE I have mentioned as 2 third of AD. So replacing in my first equation, so let's number these equations. Let's say this is equation 1, this is 2, and this is 3 for us. Now, we'll replace BE here with 2 over 3 AD. So we can write BK as equal to P times BA plus 1 minus p times 2 third of ad. Let's call this as our equation number 4. So we have one relation of bk. Now we'll try to find another relation of bk using the diagonal b to d. Let me divide this in the ratio of s. Let me use another ink. s and we'll use this as 1 minus s. You understand why? ratio the whole side is taken as one unit right okay so this is s of bd right so we can write bk as equal to s times bd right scalar multiple b to d but what is b to d b to d could be written as ba plus ad right so i could write this as s times BA plus AD. So we have BK now two equations. So
So both should be same, right? Both should be same. Now we can equate 4 and 5. Both are describing BK. So if you equate them, you get P times BA plus 1 minus P times 2 over 3 of AD is equal to S times BA plus AD. We can bring the terms together, bringing S on this side, we get P minus S times BA and AD is common here, so we can say plus 2 over 3 of 1 minus P minus S of AD is equal to 0. Now, since BA and AD are non-collinear, is not in same direction as AD. This linear combination could only be zero when individually these two are zero, right? Coefficients should be zero. That is what we're trying to say, right? So what we're trying to say here is that since, as you can see, that these two lines, vectors, are not parallel. So we cannot have uh, some of these as zero. Now that is zero only when P s or P minus s equals to zero or this whole thing, which is 2 over 3, 1 minus P minus s equals to zero, right? So these are the two conditions. Now from the first condition, which is P minus s equal to zero, we get P equals to C, right? So we, P minus s equals to zero implies P equals to s. So we can put this into the next factor, which is 2 over 3. So we want 2 over 3 times 1 minus P minus S, instead of S I am writing P, should be equal to 0, right? So substituting S in the next equation, we call this as our equation number 6, right? Let's call 7. So 7 in 6. We can now find what P is, right? So multiplying by 3, we get 2 times 1 minus P minus 3P equals to 0, 2 minus 2P minus 3P equals to 0, or 2 minus 5P equals to 0. That gives us 5P equals to 2, or P equals to 2 over 5, correct? So this P is 2 over 5. So that means 1 minus p is how much? So 1 minus p will be uh, 1 minus 2 over 5, which is 3 over 5. Okay? So we get our ratio now. So that means that the ratio 1 minus p is to p is 3 over 5 is to 2 over 5, or 3 is to 2. So the ratio in which it divides is 3 is to 2. Perfect. So now we know that AK is to KE is equal to 3 is to 2. So that is how we can actually prove it. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Now this is a very important question from test point of view. I like you to go through it once again, try to understand what we have done here. And then if you have suggestions, feel free to make your suggestions. If you have questions, ask them. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Thanks for watching and all the best.